So the second one, you have two numbers after two decimal points. That is what? Two after after the two, you have two numbers after one decimal. That's what two decimal points. The third one, you have four numbers after what? After a decimal point. That's actually what? Four decimal places. So zero, if we have like 0 0.741, that's what? Three decimal places. So in um in like real life terms now, application now, for example, now, all of us are based in the UK. If they ask you that, uh, you know, you have um, four pound 25, you know, money always ran there to what? To two decimal places. Money is always what? Just what? Ran there to what? To two decimal places. So when you have, uh, so that gives you, this one is good for two decimal because, uh, you know, pounds is like, the two decimals. So this is actually what you know, run money to this towards to two decimal places all the time. That's actually the UK. So I, I told you, I want to look at how can you order decimal. So ordering decimal is like you are ordering numbers. Ordering decimals is like what you are ordering what numbers. So it's not um, complicated. So let's look at the first thing order. Then we want to look at approximate. Then compare decimal. The first one is what? Ordering decimals. So for example, now if they ask you that which one is bigger, 0 0.4 or 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is bigger because what? Because five is more than four. That is it. 0 0.5 is bigger because what? Five is more than four. So if you have 0 0.4, one, and you have a, uh, 0.43. So this one, you check it. The first number after decimal is 4.4. Four. So you can't separate them with the first number. So if you cannot separate them with the first number, go to the second one. One and three. The three is more than one. That means that what? This one is bigger. So I will ask you to do these questions now. Those the basic question, 0 0.79, 0 0.709. Two, you tell me which one is bigger between the two of them. 0 0.001, 0 0.100. 0 0.724, 0 or 0 0.7204 for 0 0.512 or, or 0 0.5120. So look at this. I'm going to mute with myself. Try it. You circle which one is bigger between that. Second one, you can see that what? 0 and 1. This one is what higher. So you put one there is higher. You check the second one so you can see this and this. They are both seven, two, next, but the four is more than zero. So this one is higher. Then this one is gonna be five, five, one, and one, two, and two. And so they're the same thing, the same. So who got it right, please? How many right answers are actually what here? Who got it right? Uh -huh. Any right answers or wrong ones? Who got it right? Okay, what I will do basically is this. I don't think I'm getting the right response. I'm going to actually what, uh, give you individual questions to actually what do. Then uh, I'll be able to, uh, what's it called? Look, look at that deeply. So let me just, uh, I'm going to put two questions together now. So um, I'll put it this way. So Noel, I think you're using your phone to do this class. I would advise you to use your laptop or your tablet because when you use your phone, you tend to write big on the screen. 
Um, or zero point four two one three. Zero point five one four or zero point five zero four. So this one is for just put this on RBC here. And then this one is Noel. Well. So the term which one is bigger. So we use a different color to write it on. 0 0.251, 0 0.2512, 0 0.999. 0.09999. So, can you do it? Maybe that is now on the screen. You can do it on the screen. Then uh, I'm able to see that separately. So, so I put the two classes to between the classes on different questions so you can see what I uh, circle the questions when you are done with it. I have to like, uh, for example, if you have to arrange. If you have to arrange. from smallest. Yes, that gives you 0 0.021, 0 0.201, 0 0.210, 0 0.22. 0 so they ask you to actually what arrange this one from the smallest to the highest. So that gives you this one gives you the smallest here you check that one is going to be 0 0.021 because the first number is the smallest there eh? so it's like followed by two all of them have two two so one is always followed by 201 0 0.201 then 0 0.210 then 0 0.22 that's that actually what so having them from the smallest actually what <clears throat> largest So you can also be asked to you can also be asked to run it approximate. So if you have a um, four point three, so what is the run? If the number. Beside the one to be rendered is more, it's more than five. Five, you will run to the next number. And to the next number. Next number. The number beside the one to rounded is less is less than five you will run to the you sorry you will run down so it's less than less than five will 
and then to zero. So that's the rule. So the one you want to run, if it's more than uh, if it's more than five, the number beside it is more than five, you run the next number. If the number beside it is less than five, you run it to zero. So let's look at the practical example now. It makes more sense. So four point nine. If they ask you to write something that rand four point two three seven nine. So sorry, two three seven. Two three seven. So two decimal places. Can you see? Is it four point two three seven to two decimal places? This four point two three seven, two three seven is what is three decimal places. So they ask you to convert it to what to two decimal places. Is what is three decimal places initially? But that's the same thing is what to two decimal places. Three decimal places to what? To two decimal places. So the first thing you do is you have to count it. This is one and this is two. That means that this is what they want you to run. So you now check it. If it's more than five or less than five, is it more than five or less than five? So because it's more than five. Because it's more than five, this one is what? Let's put, let me just label it very well. Because it's more than five, it's more than five, this number will move to the next number, become four. So it's going to be what? 4.24. That's the answer. Can you see? So I've turned it to what? To two decimal place. So let me do another number again. Let me do another. Example again, if you have a um, 5.859 to two decimal points. So you count it again. One, two, now circle it. This one is what is more than five, because it's more than five, this one becomes what? Turns the next number. Six. Yes, thank you. So it's you not, know, it's just give you a 5.86, that's the answer. So I'm going to give you another example again. 9.39. One, two, two decimal points. So you can't see it again. One, two. So you circle this one. That one is what is less than five. What's less than five? That one will remain what? Go because go remain the same. And this, this one ran to zero. So that gives you 9.39. So because it's less than five, that number will remain the same. But if it's more than five, it will be higher. So I'm going to ask you to copy that now. Yeah. Let's try this one. Then um, I'm actually going to come for your answers. So, um, because it was set to one decimal point, just put it there. One. That is one decimal point. So we run this one. This one is more than what? More than five. Because it's more than five. Because it's more than five, that means that uh, it's going to be what? It's going to be 2.3. It's going to the next number. Sorry, it's going to be 5.3, sorry. And this one is going to be what? 7.9. This is going to be 10 point, uh, 10 point, 10.39. This is going to be what? 41. Point seven five, and this one is global at fifty three point seven nine. That is it. So if you go everything right, you can just signify, you know. If you go everything right, you can just there's a tab there. You can press to say you raised up your hand. So. Uh, 
I don't see the hand. Okay, you don't see the hand, but uh, okay, that's fine. If you actually got it right, that is fine. That is fine if you got it right. Just uh, you know, that is fine. So um, that is perfect. Then um, the final one now before we wrap it up. Um, we already learned how to compare the decimal, which one is higher, how to order the decimal. So I will now just uh, ask you to do this quite this one because I've taught you before ordering the decimal. I'll just ask you. Oh, sorry, sorry. I got, I just got a message. Sorry, apologies for that. It's only so silent. Yes, available in the model, and um, just you know, you look at it very well. You'll be able to actually watch, you know, practice more questions on it. You get better and better on it. If you need any more questions on this, you can you can just drop the message to the group chat. I'm going to send them um, send to you on WhatsApp. You can actually watch practice with those questions too. So if you need extra, but I can tell you some of these questions actually work on the model. Just go on it. Log in, go on and download um, the questions. The answers are also available there. Then you can show what you can mark it. So that is that for today. Thank you for joining. Now we'll see you again next week. Thank you.